Hello, social media. Welcome to Lakita T. Sharp's finest inspirational mini. I am so happy that you have decided to join me on today. So I welcome you. So let us get going, shall we? It is Wednesday night, early Thursday morning. I hope you guys are doing where. Where are you from? Where are you? I am in Virginia. So I know some of you are in Houston. Some of you are all kinds of places. And anyway, um, yeah. So um, check out my books over at Amazon.com. Head over to my website for additional information and inspiration. And if you want me to coach you during this hour, feel free to reach out to me. And also, if you want to support the ministry and send a donation, then thank you so much. No gift is too small. So thank you very, very much. So let us get, let us get going, shall we? Let us get going. Let us get going. Okay, today's message is everybody needs help sometimes. Everybody needs help sometimes. I remember being with a friend and this particular friend said, I just get tired of calling on people for help. And, you know, my heart just went with them because I can understand how that could be frustrating because you always need help all the time. I am here to say to you that everybody comes to a point in life where you might need help at some particular time. There are many of times when I'm walking into a new situation where I need help. When I got started off with my business running my publishing company, I first worked with a company, Book Ministry, and um, working with um, um, John Mark, I believe. But um, I... A shout out to them for helping me get my start. So shout out to the book ministry. But anyway, um, I needed help. There, there has been plenty of situations where I have to ask somebody for help. And sometimes you feel very vulnerable you know, if a person don't want to help you, you don't want to ask or whatever like that. But it's okay. It's okay because we all need help at some point. It's okay. It's okay. And if you have tried it, you know, it's, it's see one thing about this. This is what gets me over right here is that I will always try First, before I ask for help, I will try first. And if I can't get it, then I ask for help and go for to get the extra help. Now, if you're the person who always asks for help and always asks for help and you just, you don't try. I was at McDonald's. I was at McDonald's and um, a, a guy walked in, a customer, and he went up to the um, the register. And McDonald's had the kiosk there for you to place your own order instead of going to the cash register. So this particular gentleman said, hey, yo, I don't know how to work that thing. I don't know how to work that uh, I'm going to just stay here. I'm waiting on customer service. I need somebody to help me here at the cash register. I don't know how to work that kiosk. I don't know what that thing is. He didn't even try. He didn't even try to help his 
himself. He just waited and waited and waited and waited and waited for someone. And it was already the kiosk there to help himself. So I'm here to say that try helping yourself first before you call in help. Try to be self-sufficient if you can, as much as you can. Try to learn how to do things for yourself before you are calling in the crew, before you're calling your sister, before you're calling in your husband or your wife or your kids. Try the situation out for yourself. Okay? Fix things for yourself. And then if you did, if you can't do it and you have done all you have done, then call for help because we all need help sometimes and it is okay. And do I need to say more that you have the awesome God who's always available to give you help? To give you wisdom if you just ask for it. So many people are walking around and they have no wisdom. No wisdom at all. It is time, young people. It is time, older people, to get some wisdom. Ask. And it shall be given. King Solomon, the trillionaire in the Bible. I love King Solomon because God, he was in charge of this kingdom. And he told God that I am like a child. I have no wisdom to rule your people the right way. Can you help me? Give me wisdom to help me rule this kingdom the right way. It took wisdom to ask for wisdom. That he knew he needed help. And God said just because you didn't ask me for riches. I'm going to give you, and you didn't ask me for long life, and you didn't ask me to kill your enemies, <laughs> but I am, <laughs> I'm going to give you everything. I'm going to give you the world. I'm going to give you, I'm going to make you so successful that there would be no other king like you. And people just came from afar admiring his wisdom. Even the queen came. I can't remember, was it Queen Sheba? You guys, I can't remember. But the queen even came and she said, I heard about you. And she said, she said that I just had to hear about your wisdom and how much wisdom you have, how much that you know I just got to sit with you and, 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 and just glean from you and to get and pull from that wisdom. God, guys, you guys, if you need help, that's why you have your God is there. The overseer. Oh, this is good. This is good. That's why you have the overseer there. So he can help you with the wisdom and give you wisdom to deal with whatever issue you may have to help you be able to be the ruler of your castle, to help you be the husband you need to be, to help you be the mother you need to be, to help you be the father you need to be, to help you be um, the wife you need to be, to help you be the business owner you need to be. Whatever you need to be. That's why God has given you wisdom. If you ask for it. That's why he will give you wisdom. Well, anyway. 
I thank you so much for watching. We are the chosen ones. We do right. We live right. We are right. We make a lot of mistakes. But we continue to push forward because why? We are the chosen ones and we are powerful. I will see you in the next video. So I thank you so much for watching. You are awesome. I will see you later. Bye-bye for now. Thanks for watching.